a pleasant evening to all fellow Filipinos. Thank you for once again joining us for tonight's Talk to the People. Last Saturday, respecting the will of the people who, after all, placed me in the presidency several years ago, I announced my retirement from politics after my term as president. I withdrew all my vice presidential bid for next year's election after giving serious thought on the sentiment of the Filipino people expressed by different surveys, forums, caucuses, and meetings. It is time to give way to a new set of leaders who hopefully continue the reforms, projects, and programs that this administration has pursued for the past few years. It is my hope that the new set of leaders will pursue a platform of government that will build on our gains in the areas of fighting illegal drugs, criminality, corruption, terrorism, and insurgency. I likewise hope that they will continue what we have begun in the terms of infrastructure development and the many, ter many other initiatives we have undertaken during my term. With my withdrawal of my nomination, Senator Bongo has now taken the challenge to become the vice presidential candidate of the PDP Laban. I strongly and fully believe that Senator Bongo is the best person to help the next president continue my legacy and build on the gains that we have achieved, especially in terms of providing basic services to health care, education, and other social services for the people. The Malasakit Centers, which he spearheaded in establishing when he was still a special assistant to the president and helped enact into law as a senator, have already assisted millions of Filipinos in their Malasakit time of sickness and need. Furthermore, in the first two years of his term as Senator Bong, as Senator Bongo has already fulfilled his duties as a legislator by passing several important laws that he has also performed pre representing and constituency services by visiting and providing assistance to our Kababayans who needed help, like victims of fire, flood, and other calamities, as well as those who are heavily affected by the present pandemic. With a track record of service and strong work ethic rooted in compassion towards the poor and the neg neglected, I strongly believe that he will be the best vice president of the country. With this, I encourage our Kababayans to look at his deeds and achievements as you consider your list of candidates for the next president. Vice president, rather. <laughs> 